we're without Tom. Um, he had a health scare during the week. Um, he's effectively not around for the next couple of weeks. We're at a crucial part of the season now. I need to come back to work. I need to help my team. You catch what happened to the seven <laughs> over there? <laughs> a little nutmeg. Okay. He's the one that I've been talking shit the whole game. Stand out here and look at 400 fans singing your name, and the feeling I get um, I don't know whether it's butterflies or I'm close to getting a heart attack. Reporting from Bart's Hospital, Thomas, yeah. how are you feeling? <laughs> He's feeling amazing. Mm. Colours come back on his face. Feeling good. Feeling good? Yep, ready for work. Ready for no, not ready for work. All right, have you got anything to say? Yeah, well, um, go on, think about it. Second in the league, I want to be top. No, Thomas. <laughs> what? Have you got anything to say to all your friends and family? I love you all. There you go. And are you better? Yeah, much better. Okay, everyone will be happy. Much better, considering I died twice yesterday. You did, darling. Um, I'm all right today. I got a phone call, it was Wednesday evening. Um, I had missed calls from Tucker, missed calls from the chairman, Aki. Um, so I knew something wasn't right. I spoke to Aki eventually, I called him back, and uh, he told me what had happened to Tom. It was quite a shock to me when I heard it. Throat just goes dry, you don't know what to say. It's just sort of like a choking sort of thing. I didn't realise the last week, six months how ill, Ill I was. I was feeling tired. Every time I got out of the dugout to scream out orders, I'll get dizzy. Hey, ref, I the punch, man! Went home, sat on the settee. I was sweating from the waist upwards. My girlfriend came in after 25 minutes. She straight away phoned the paramedics and my heart stopped for 30 seconds. It rushed me to hospital. I, I see him push the pacemaker in. I said to him, have you finished now? He goes to me, can you just be quiet? I said, just, just let me know what's going on. I'm interested, you know what I mean? I had the television in front of me so I could see everything on that. If it's not done by Tom, it's not done properly. And yeah. it sounded like the surgeon at yeah. one point, you were going to do it yourself. Well, well, look, I wanted to stay away because he only looked 15 years old and I thought I might have to um, guide him a little bit or whatever. Um, and um, it just, honestly, he looked so young. And uh, I just felt I needed to stay awake in case something went wrong, I had to put him right, but how ridiculous is that? And that's how, this is how I am at the football club. I need to start, maybe that's, this is where I've got to take a step back. Life is delicate and I thought I was the bionic man. Well, I am the bionic man now. <laughs> Bognor Regis, which is nearly a three hour drive from Tottingham. Stopped off Key's body service station just to give the lads a little stretch and go to the toilet. Obviously, Tom's not with us today, so that role of managing the team comes to myself, Johnny, and obviously Dave as well. We have done it before, but under different circumstances. Tom like to get banned now and again, so we did do it before, so it's nothing new. Um, Tom still had his input, don't worry about that. He's at home, he's recovering well. Massive game today for us. Uh, Bognor are right, flying high, they've won a lot of games recently, they're going to fancy their chances. We're on a couple of defeats um, in the last two games and we've got to get back on the uh, winning trail really. Yeah, we like playing on grass though. We just need to go there, focus on getting back to winning ways. Big game today, obviously you manager not being here, it's quite disappointing but again he needs to rest up kind of, you know. Been stressing a lot recently. So. What's so funny about that message that he sent? So basically, Johnny is trying to get the boys to hurry up and get back on the coach. He said, "Stop stressing, Johnny. It's not good for your heart." But <laughs> what is it? Two, three days ago, he had a bit of a, you know what I mean? But listen, they must have done some sort of operation to give him a little bit of banter as well. It's a level for the best. The boxing. Silence, Ferguson. Trying to get inspired. The Bellin boys, 
hearing that you weren't happy with your song. Yeah. They're making a special effort for you, is yeah, that right? Yeah, they are trying to appreciate that. That's because you're an adult. No, you Olu ain't even got a song. I know, Oli ain't got a song. You mentioned that you didn't have a song. Obviously. And that, and that you weren't happy. No, I'm not. But I, I have to say, I, I thought I heard a song. It's a joke thing though. Oli, 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 what is that? <laughs> no thought process behind it. There's no love. I'd rather not have a song if that's it. What's it? Oli, 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 Oli. My man's one. With the hair. What's Charlie. 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 There's thought in processing that. What's, who else is one? You got one. The Belen boys are scripting songs. Yeah, they are. And, and they asking are. you which ones you like. Joel, Joel, Joel Nubel on the borrowing. If you give him time and space, how and gave a win. That's a decent one. I trim you that hey, give me some light. Hey, trim! Uh, right, let's go, bro. Let's go. Right, let's go. I let's go. I'll flush on the <laughs> <laughs> Haircut, yeah, 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 so secure in the playoffs as we were so we must avoid defeat today as Bognor were one of our obvious playoff rivals it'd be nice to win for Tom obviously a bit of a shock we got so it'd be nice to win for him it's always nice to win especially it'd be nice to win when the manager's not here maybe you can control that yeah. so you good will be with Rax come on boys hey! him that got me into Haringey and then on one occasion he said dad why don't we go come in and uh, watch a game or whatever and then from since then we've been coming as I said to most home games. It's brilliant it's got the family feel it's just a brilliant experience. It's not only just brilliant football it gives me something to do on the weekends it gives you a kind of perspective of the community and it's, it's just getting to know the people in your area. Yeah, yeah, very important. Yeah, because as I say, it brings certain people together on a Saturday afternoon. We put on one of the best atmospheres in the league, and we're still the only team in White Hart Lane. I'm a Tottenham fan. This is Arsenal. Wow. <laughs> it's a bit of conflict, but uh, <laughs> no, we enjoy coming here. Born and bred in the area, so we've known. And we go for years, like, you know. We can go back when we was little kids, actually. Yeah. You know, of course, it's uh, really taken on nowadays, you know, which is good for the local area. We used to have school sports here years ago oh, yeah. when we were juniors. Yeah. yeah. So we can go back, I'm, I'm talking about 50, 60, 70 years ago now. <laughs> Can't go to professional football now. You know, not at our age anyway, it's too expensive, but I mean, this is free. Where can you go and enjoy a Saturday football yeah. when it's free? And the people here are so nice, yeah. you know, no trouble. And the atmosphere is good, isn't it? And, the, and the atmosphere and is good, you know, yeah. and it's a really good afternoon out. Why well, we have to get here early now there. to get a seat? Years ago, you couldn't, you know, there's about 20 people here. <laughs> yeah. Oh we enjoy it as a family, you know. So it's good for them, uh, they get out and about, they meet people here and they interact with all the crowd. And they're well known. And <laughs> yeah! 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 Yeah!
you catch what happens to the seven over there? A little nutmeg. Okay. He's the one that's been talking the whole game. Result wise, great result. Performance, even better. Mark Kelby was excellent. Subtitle! <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, all joking aside, <laughs> when, when put things into perspective, that's for the gaffer. Big result. Yeah, Hopefully, yeah. Tom enjoyed that result as well. That was a big one for Tom. Listen, we go again next week, 10 more big games, and see what happens really. I think it's big for Tom. I mean, he's probably at home right now smiling. You know what I mean? Can't be too excited. You know what I mean? Chill, chill out, gaffer. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's why when I'm playing, basically, yeah, except today, yes. I, I really, really want to bring that three points and uh, we did it. Yeah. Tom, it's for you. <laughs> so, back to winning ways, John. Oh, it feels absolutely. nice, doesn't it? Absolutely. It's our favourite score, 4 0. That's the third 4 0 away victory we've had this season. One, Johnny Bacon! There's only one Johnny Bacon, one Johnny Bacon, there's only one Johnny Bacon. I hope you ain't got your shells on that. <laughs> <laughs>